that one. Good. Yeah, just uh, dining room. Take the plastic junk off of there. Can you move any slower than this, fellas? Hi. You must be our new neighbor. I'm Nicholas Ozaransky. Call me Oz. Jimmy. Hi. Jimmy Jones. Have we met before? No. Are you sure? Yeah. I remember I got a thing with faces. That is so weird. You look so familiar. Where are you from? Mr. Jones, where do you want this? Um... Upstairs, back bedroom. What were you saying? Huh. You all right? Yes. You sure? Because you look like you got some gas. Well, I, I, had, a, I had a hamburger for lunch. They put mayonnaise on it? Yes. Can you tell me why they do that? Every red-blooded American knows that the only condiment you were ever supposed to put on a hamburger is ketchup! Or maybe some of that special sauce you like so much here in Canada, which I think has a little bit of mayonnaise in it, too. But I swear to God, when they start slapping that mayonnaise on there, I could kill somebody. I really, really didn't want to upset you. <laughs> Who's upset? I'm just having a conversation here. I'm gonna go home. Okay. Feel better. Thank you. Ah! Yes! Thanks for stopping by. Welcoming me to the neighborhood. Okay. Jesus, I just bumped into our new next door neighbor. Do you have any idea who that is? I suppose you're going to tell me. That's Jimmy the Tulip Tedeschi. And that means something? Jimmy the Tulip was a hitman for the Gogolak gang. The Gogolak gang, the Hungarian gang back in Chicago that ran the north side. And that guy, Jimmy, right over there was Laszlo Gogolak's key enforcer. Sophie, the man's killed 17 people. Why the stupid name? The tulip? That's his flower of choice. It's what he sent to his victim's funerals. I wonder what he's doing here. Well, hiding out, most likely. See, he ratted out Laszlo Gogolak. Now Laszlo's spending the rest of his life in prison. Jimmy only got five years. And Dave told me he refused witness protection. Protection? From? Well, I'm sure Laszlo's son Yanni wants to put, you know, one of those, you know, the, a price on his head. You mean the... A contract? A mob contract? Thank you. Okay. Let's go for a drive. A drive? Yeah, well, drive. Well, I don't know anyone else in town. I figured we could go for a drive. Show me the sights, you know. Won't kill you. Promise? So I take it you're not Canadian? Only by marriage. Where are you from? Chicago. Not Chicago. Chicago. I was born there, but uh, I, I don't really know anything about Chicago anymore. Okay. Yeah, totally oblivious to anything even related to Chicago. I'm from Jersey. New Jersey? Yeah, from Jersey. Well, if you're from Jersey, you're from Jersey. 
But Jersey's another place I know absolutely nothing about. You always this nervous? Yes. Well, like virtually everything else that's wrong in my life, it all started with the little missus. <laughs> See, back home, her father and I ran a dental practice together. You're a dentist? Afraid so. You suicidal? See, now, wh why would you say that? Well, I once read that dentists are prone to suicide. Look, Jimmy, I may hate my life, but I certainly don't want to die. You better get used to it, because you're going to. <laughs> Everybody dies. <laughs> Sooner or later. Dude, no. So you were saying your father-in-law. Well, ironically, he was a suicide. Stats don't lie. He got caught molesting a patient. <sighs> An underage patient. An underage male oh, patient. Please, stop. I know. So this kid starts to blackmail him, right? And this is at the exact same time the IRS decides to investigate him for tax fraud. So Big Aaron needs money, and fast, you know? So he goes to a, you know, a loan shark, takes out a sizable loan against our company, which I had no idea about, and then proceeds to hit Vegas, Atlantic City, Reno, loses all the money and sticks you with the bill. Am I right? You are right. That's exactly right. So, you know, after the ensuing scandal and bankruptcy and embarrassment, my wife and her mother decided it would be best that we move back here. You like living in Canada? No, I, I live here with my wife. <laughs> <laughs> you sure you're a dentist? Yeah, why? Because I've never met a dentist I liked. Well, I, I try to keep things as painless as possible. Me too.